Welcome to Designer Digital's Tip of the Week, May 14, 2011. This week, Tricks with Text Series number 9, Creative Ways to Add Text to Photos in Photoshop and Elements. Adding text to photos before printing is a great way to add interest to pages. Whether you're a digital scrapbook artist, a traditional scrapbooker, or a hybrid project designer, this week's tip will show you three ways to use your favorite fonts to place text on your photos. Begin by opening a new document or a digital scrapbook page in Photoshop or Elements. Create the document in the size you'd like to print using 300 pixels per inch as the resolution. Open a digital photo and use the Move tool to drag the photo onto your new document. Next, get the Horizontal Type tool, which looks like a T in your tool bin. Choose a font name, style, and size here in the options bar across the top of the editing window. Select a color that contrasts with the background of your photo by clicking the color chip in the options bar. This activates the color picker. Move your cursor outside of the color picker to transform the cursor into the eyedropper tool. Click anywhere on your document to pick up a new color. Click OK to choose the color. Click on the photo and type your message. Confirm the type by clicking the check mark in the options bar in Photoshop or underneath the type in Photoshop Elements. If you're satisfied with your work, go ahead and select File, Print to print your document from home, or use one of these variations before printing. On a photo with a dark background like this one, you can make your text look like a vellum overlay. Use white or a light color to create the text, and then select the text layer in the Layers panel. Move the Opacity slider at the top of the Layers panel down to the left. This allows the background to show through the type for a more subtle effect. To change the color of your text, double-click the T icon on the left side of the text layer in the Layers panel. This highlights the text. Now click the color chip in the options bar across the top of the screen and choose a new color. I'm going to pick up this gray and click OK. Then tick the check mark to confirm the change. You can change the text font, name, style, and size using the same method. I'm going to go ahead and increase the opacity back to 100% to show you the next variation. Use the blending modes to blend the text into your photo for this creative technique. Select the text layer and click the Blending Modes drop-down menu above the Layers panel. It's set to Normal by default. Click the word Normal to highlight it and then use your down arrow key to scroll through the blending modes. You'll see the text change on your photo as you click through the blending mode. As long as the mode name is highlighted, you'll see the changes. Use the up arrow key to go back up through the blending modes. Stop when you find a blending mode that works for your project. This is another way to make the text effect more subtle. When you're satisfied with your text, save a copy of the layered file as a TIFF or a PSD to preserve the ability to change the type later. Thanks for watching and be sure to check back next week for another Photoshop or Elements Tip of the Week.